good morning and a warm welcome for a very interesting presentation from me today uh, because one of the most difficult job as a leader is to get things done okay one of the most difficult job of the leader is to motivate the other person actually we cannot motivate anyone yes or no that's one of the most difficult job for any leader because you cannot motivate anyone okay they all have to get motivated on their own and in the bargain as we do motivate a lot you know what happens is we end up in doing lot of work for others thereby we get more stressed up okay so today in this presentation i'm going to talk about what are the three things that every leader must stop so please do take some notes so that it will be of great benefit to you okay so what are the three things that every leader uh, must stop thereby you can actually uh, you know enjoy uh, helping everyone and thereby you also develop more leaders in your organization the number one see, I, i'll give you an example I'll, i'll talk about one interesting example from my story you know uh, sometime before okay before the covid uh, i was attending one chapter meeting and uh, you know many chapter meetings i have attended but later i realized one interesting technique that i have to handle in the beginning stages beginning that means i when i when i'm talking about when i started bni uh, i once i remember going to the park hotel and in the lobby one member was eagerly waiting to meet me and from the hotel in uh, the, 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 the the door to the basement hall so he started talking to me he just looked at me and said mugli i just need a one minute with you i have a problem to solve and then from there we started talking from the door all the way to the basement okay at that time i never realized what i was doing you know what exactly that person was doing uh, now i can if i can recall what happened was he had a trouble with one member he, he didn't know how to handle that particular member who was causing lot of challenges in the chapter so as he was talking from the door all the way to the basement i just looked at him and said okay don't worry uh, i will talk to the member and i will uh, solve the issue for you so that's what i i immediately said without even understanding what big mistake i <laughs> implemented it why because after that he keeps on messaging he mudli what happened did you speak to the member hey do you know this guy is still doing this and he was continuously asking me what happened to that particular situation so i was just re remembering that you know that's one of the that's not the right way to actually be a leader why because he before he looked at me and said that mudli i can i have one minute from you because i have a problem you know, that problem was sitting like a monkey on his shoulder when i said okay let's talk i will listen to you one leg of the monkey sat on my shoulder and he was as he was explaining 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 the minute we reached the uh, conference hall both the legs of the monkey from his shoulder moved to my shoulder because i took the burden of that particular monkey problem and now i have to feed this monkey now and uh, he started asking me hey what happened to this problem i am sure if you are if you have experienced something like this where instead of you instead of you leading them instead of you said you took the ownership of them go ahead and mention that it as if it has happened in your life that you carried the burdens of someone else you started carrying the monkey of someone else and you had to feed that particular monkey has it happened in your life go ahead and comment me in the comment box because today i'm going to uh, share with you there are three things that every leader must actually stop doing okay what are the three things okay so what are the three things that every leader must do is number one uh, let me just focus for you so that you can take some notes number one thing which i realize from that experience nowadays i don't do that now i realize that's not the right way to do number one okay so this is what i will always say this is number one why because uh, if you really have to get the best results out of your team stop doing people's work for them okay in the beginning i never realized that i ended up in taking up their job and the monkey came and sat on my shoulder and i was not able to move forward in my life because that became a heavy weight for me so if you are someone who is stuck like me if you are someone experiencing that number one thing you should do as a leader is stop doing people's work for them why see suppose you are asked to do something okay and uh, the, as uh, over enthusiastic uh, overworked leader okay you end up in doing do you know why most of the time the overworked leader end up in doing that i'm sure it would have happened in your life also do you know why we end up in doing that work when someone asks you politely or in a beautiful way 
it's because you did the job before you actually got promoted you actually did that job probably you were part of the membership committee probably you were part of the lbh or probably you took that role and since you are all you already done that you are actually very good at it okay so that's number one reason why you immediately jumped into it. and number two it's a little bit of ego boosting also happens why because an overworked leader feels important and smart when they do someone's job for them little bit unconsciously subconsciously the ego gets satisfied but remember one thing ladies and gentlemen every time you do someone's job you teach them that you will do their job always remember that okay so that's the number one thing that if you really want to get reduced in your stress levels but still you want to get the maximum benefit out of your team members number one stop doing others work okay that's number one okay what's number two number two is stop interrupting people when they are solving their own problem many leaders you know they out of sheer excitement okay we jump in to solve many other problems so that's the number two thing that we all have to stop as a leader why see uh, I, i'll give you an example uh, one sometime before just few weeks before one of our uh, dc messaged me mudli that i am having this particular problem and i need a solution from you okay generally many of the dcs know that i instantly respond okay you send a message my response is always super fast okay purposefully what i did is uh, i delayed the whole response okay that means i didn't respond back purposefully delayed you know what happened after 35 minutes another message came that murli you know what uh, i was just thinking for a long time and i actually thought about this particular solution i immediately went and spoke to this particular lt and you know they actually solved the whole problem so never mind i got it you don't have to interrupt now so that's the most interesting thing which i learned from that stop interrupting people when they are solving their own problem so the so you need to give little bit of delay uh, when you just delay the whole thing the human mind will always find a way to solve their own problem so how do you do this whenever you do this okay whenever someone comes to you with a problem okay first affirm the member when they solve their own problem very good fantastic do well i understand your problem just tell them okay and then when someone asks you what do you think i should do immediately ask them hey can you tell me what and all have you tried so far okay that's how you need to push the monkey back to them remember otherwise the monkey will come to your shoulder and number 3 if they haven't tried anything then ask them what do you think you should do so how do you handle this problem solving because many even in your organization in your family in our bni chapters there are members coming up with all the problems to you people will come to you so as a smart leader if you take up that problem remember the monkey jumps on to your shoulder then it becomes your problem it is not their problem but as a leader our job is to grow other leaders so remember to do all these three things whenever you are there at the leadership job number 3 okay very important is stop tweaking the solution of competent team members many members in our organization in our team they are actually more competent and they actually work they our job as a leader is to help them to focus on their strength why am i saying this because we should not take pride in things when which we don't own somebody's strength is doing very good powerpoint then let them do that somebody's strength is actually talking to customers let them do that somebody's strength is doing vista orientation following up vista let them do that okay you destroy the joy of achievement when you tweak someone else solution so let them enjoy that particular thing number 2 their solution is better than your solution as long as their solution won't cause any harm for the chapter or for the organization and remember uh, always whenever they want to take that action okay whenever they want to do some solution they want to come up with their own ideas always ask them okay give the opportunity for them and then tell them hey can you just once you are done can you reflect on your learning come back and when you are done tell me what have you learned okay that's one of the best way to develop more leaders in each and every chapter because it's a very simple saying why are you hindering competent members by helping too much so do not you know if you know that that member has that particular strength allow that member to explore their own strength okay that's the reason why one of the biggest job of the leader is to spot the strength of every team member and assign tasks which are natural to them 
Okay, so thereby they can actually explore their natural selves. Thereby, everyone in the chapter will perform their role effectively. Okay, if someone is not performing their role, don't jump inside to do their job because that it means what? You are actually telling them, hey. I am good at doing it. So obviously the monkey will stop coming, uh, jumping from your shoulder to their shoulder. So in summary, okay, here is what I want to ask you. Okay. In summary, okay, please remember to affirm more and help less. Number two, provide opportunity for people to craft their own solution. If you can help every member to craft their own solution, they will consider you as a great leader. And remember to get out of the way but don't isolate yourself. So, so far you just learned what are the three things that every leader must stop doing. So here is a question which I want you to share in the comment box below. What one action, what one action will you take now? Go ahead and comment below and thanks for listening.